Multiple offers, is that a good or a bad problem to have? As a buyer, it can feel like you have to put your battle armor on and go in and fight. As a seller, it can be as exciting to have many offers to choose from, but it can be overwhelming at the same time. Hi, I'm Teresa Zek. Welcome to my YouTube channel, or thanks for coming back if you're a subscriber. In this channel, I talk about all things real estate here in Phoenix, Arizona. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button, and I'm here every week with something new about the Phoenix real estate market. Now let's get started. It can be very frustrating to keep getting beat out by other offers when you're looking for a home. What do you do to stand out when there's multiple offers on that home? Number one, be sure you're offering at the right price. As your agent, I will look at the comparables that are in the neighborhood before we write up the offer. Then you will know what the home is most likely to appraise for. You can offer over list price in this scenario. You will need to be able to bring cash above the list price or what we have discussed the home could appraise for. We will talk about this in great detail so that you're comfortable in making this decision before we submit your offer. Number two, you can also shorten your inspection period. The standard time in Arizona is 10 days. You could shorten down to seven days or even five days, but I wouldn't go any shorter than that. This is your time to truly evaluate the home and have it looked at inside and out. You don't wanna feel crunched and not give this step the time it needs. Number three, seller's concessions. You could offer to pay the seller's closing costs. This is similar to offering above lift's price. For if you choose this option, you'll need to bring additional cash to cover the seller's closing costs. Cash to cover your closing costs and your down payment money. It is a little different than offering over list for you aren't negotiating with the seller based on what the appraisal comes in at. You could simply say that you'll pay 5,000 towards the seller's closing cost and know it's a fixed amount that you need to bring in cash at closing. Some buyers have waived appraisals altogether. This is one I wouldn't recommend for you're saying no matter what it appraises for, you will have cash to cover the difference. This is a lot to consider. If you have questions about multiple offers, drop them in the comments below. Also hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on what's happening here in our Phoenix real estate market. Now let's talk about being a seller and what to do when receiving multiple offers. Did you know that just because you received an offer 20,000 over your asking price doesn't necessarily mean it's better than the offer that's only 10,000 over asking price. Believe me, I want you to pocket the most amount of money for your house too. So I understand why you'd be confused here. Let's talk about the key things to think about besides offer price when you're reviewing multiple offers. Number one, the closing date. Does that match your, with your desired time frame, Or will you be homeless for a few weeks while you wait for your next house to close? How important is that date to you? Number two, what type of financing does the buyer have? Are they offering cash? or getting a loan. Some loan types take into account the condition of your home and other contributing factors. Certain loan types have stricter appraisal restrictions than others. Imagine if you found yourself in a situation where you're now required to make $10,000 in repair or replacement and the buyer's lender says, nope, we can't fund this loan. And number three, are they offering additional money if the appraisal does not come in at their offered purchase price? If your home is listed for 300,000 and they offer 325,000, are they offering to pay an additional 25,000 above the appraised price? Buyers have shortened their contingency time or waived it altogether. Let's just use the scenario of receiving that offer that is 20,000 over asking and the buyer is requesting an inspection, but you have another offer that's only 10,000 above the asking price but they're waiving their inspection, which means they're not having any inspection at all. Well, then that's something to consider because on the home that is having inspections, you are open to the possibility of the inspector finding issues that you didn't know of. And then you and the buyers would possibly have to re-enter negotiations or worse, they could simply walk away. Those are only a few things to think about as a seller when you're reviewing multiple offers. As a buyer, I hope this gave you a few ideas on how to stand out in a competitive market. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you found this information valuable. If you did, give it a thumbs up for us, leave us a comment and subscribe to our channel. We really appreciate the support. If you're looking for more content about buying or selling real estate here in Phoenix, Arizona, feel free to give me a call. Send us an email or book a consultation. All of this information is listed in the description below. Be sure to stay tuned for the next video. See you on the next one.